Hello, Keller Williams. I am Christy Bryant with the Best of Austin Living Team at Market Center Number One. I'm an agent and I help agents fully utilize DocuSign. In the video today, I'm going to show you how to use the address book so it can help you when you're filling out details within DocuSign. I'm also going to show you just a little hack in uh, getting into DocuSign. So I certainly could go into DocuSign through command. Uh, I could click on go to transaction. That is going to take me into DocuSign. I could also open a window and I could sign in directly into DocuSign by clicking DocuSign.com. Log in and you're going to use your credentials that you use when you log into DocuSign via command. It's just an option. Sometimes it might help. If command is down, then you know that you can still go directly into DocuSign. So when I'm in DocuSign, this page may not look familiar to you. Um, if I go up here to my smiling photo, I'm sure you've put your photo in, I'm going to click to switch to rooms. When I click to switch to rooms, this is going to be the side of DocuSign that looks more familiar. I'm going to see the rooms show here. Here I'm going to click on contacts. So on the contacts page, I uh, certainly, let's see, I'm going to go into the list view. So on the contacts page, uh, this is the directory. These are all the agents that there are. I, I don't want to see all the agents, but I want to work in the address book. So within the address book, I would encourage you to go directly to your own and make sure that your information is correct. So originally under company, mine had Best of Austin Living Team at Keller Williams Realty. That does not fit into the DocuSign form boxes. Let me tell you, it didn't work. So I have shifted it to Keller Williams Realty. So be sure that this information is correct. It would be nice if the address was in here. It's not. So I'm working with the information that I've got. So make sure that this is correct for you. And you can add any of your clients in here that you want to add in. And the way that this benefits you to make sure that this information is correct, when I go into my rooms, and we're going to go into the Sally Smith buyer room that we were working in earlier video, and I'm on the details page. So right here you can see I'm on details page. I want to click on edit. I can choose with this little people icon right here to go into my address book. So I can choose to fill the contact by going in here. That is how that helps you. I hope that is a helpful little hack. If you have clients that you do a lot of investment properties for, or certainly for yourself, you want your information to be correct in there, use that. So the way that I got this information in here, let me save this, is by going into contacts. And this will show you both the directory and the address book. The directory has all Keller Williams agents. You're not going to be using that. You want to be using the address book function. I hope that this helped.